Hello friends, welcome to Podcrush Coding. In this video, we are going to learn about CSS selectors. So what are selectors? A CSS selector selects the HTML element you want to style. So whatever element you want to style in your HTML document, that is called as selector and to that particular selector, you can apply the property and value of CSS. So we can divide CSS selectors into five categories. So there are five types of CSS selectors. So those types are first one is simple selectors. So select element based on name, ID or class. So this is simple selector. Another one is a combinator selectors. So these select elements based on a specific relationship between them. Third one is a pseudo class selectors which selects element based on a certain state. Fourth one is pseudo element selector select and style a part of a particular element. And fifth one is attribute selectors select elements based on an attribute or attribute value. So we will cover all these selectors in upcoming videos. In this video, we will only cover about the simple selectors because all other selectors we will need additional information about them. So first one we will cover is simple selectors. So let's go into our sublime text editor. So let's first create one HTML document. So let's create a new file, save this file. So let's say selector demo dot HTML. So this will be our HTML file. Let's create template for HTML. You just need to write your HTML and sublime text editor will give you the template for HTML. So let's provide title for this selector. And let's have your inside the body tag. Let's give h1 heading. And let's say simple selector. Simple selector. Also, let's provide another heading here h3. CSS learning. And let's have one more tag paragraph tag. And inside this paragraph, let's give the content. Welcome to Code Crush Learning. So this is our HTML file. If I try to run this file now, let's save this. Open in browser. So this is our file. Let me increase the font. So this is our H1 heading simple selector. This is the H3 heading CSS learning and this is the paragraph welcome to code crush learning. So let us provide the CSS file. So in this video we will try to use the external CSS. So what is external CSS? We need to provide another file here new file. Let's name the file save as. And let's say a selector. Dot CSS. So this is our CSS file and to link this file with our HTML, you need to provide the link tag. So here we will have link and in href, you need to provide the name of CSS file because both these files are in same location. You just need to provide the file name. So file name is selector.css selector.css. So let's first write here some properties in CSS file. So if you provide your star and curly braces and provide any property, then it will be universal selector. So this will select all the tags which are available in your HTML file. So if I provide your star and write here the property, let's say color. So color I want is blue. Blue. Let's save this. And let's refresh our browser now. We need to save the HTML file as we have provided the link here. So if I try to save this, see all these tags are getting in blue color paragraph as well as the heading tag because we have selected here the universal selector. So this will apply to all the tags in our HTML file. If I provide here another property, let's say text aligned to center. So all these text will be aligned to center. If I refresh the page, see 
all these properties are getting applied for these all the three types of selectors which is h1 h3 and paragraph tag now if i want to apply only to a particular element let's say i want to apply only to h3 element so if i select here h3 and provide your property let's say color is orange and also h1 heading color blue let's provide blue here and third one is paragraph tag and let's have the color for paragraph let's say pink if i save this now and now refresh now text align is not used in our css file so by default the text will be on the left side if i refresh the browser see so this one h1 was having the blue color as h1 is having the blue color h3 is having orange and paragraph is having pink so see you are able to see these different colors here and now i want to add text align property to all these three elements to have this thing into center so i will provide your text align text okay i need to provide your semicolon text align to center so in similar way i need to copy this property in all the three tags in h1 as well as in paragraph tag let's save this and run now okay in the last one it is not applied why it is not applied because we haven't provided semicolon here so when you have two properties in your selector then you need to separate them with the help of semicolon let's save this and refresh now see now all these properties are getting applied to our file so what you can do as you can see this text align center property is applied to all these three elements so instead of having it three times you can group this particular property if i remove this property say and you can group this property how you can group this so basically that grouping is called as grouping selector so you can have all these three elements here which will be h1 comma h3 comma p and you want common properties to all these three tags which is your text align to center if i save this and refresh now so still we will get the same output because text align is now applied to all these three uh, elements if i shift it to right so all the three will be shifted to right see all these three are shifted to right so that is grouping selector so this was grouping selector this was our element selector because this is applied to particular element now the another selector in simple selector we want to learn is the if you can see here based on name we have seen you can also learn about id and classes so let's provide id and classes so let me remove this part here now how you can provide id so id you can provide here any inside the tag you need to provide id and provide the name of id let's say id name is select so this is my id name so this id i provided here so with the same name i need to declare the property in css file and you need to provide hash to that so hash select and you need to provide here properties so now we have these three content simple selector in the heading one css learning in heading three and welcome to code crush learning in paragraph so we have provided id only to h1 tag so here if i say background color background color let's say red and if i save this now provide here if i refresh it see let me save the code refresh see the background color is applied to the h1 tag why it is applied to the h1 tag because we have provided select here 
and select is defined inside the CSS file with the help of this hash. So this provides that with that particular name of ID, you need to apply this particular property. If I provide this ID to paragraph now, ID equals to select. So now paragraph tag will also have the background color, which is red. Let's see that refresh the page. See, we are getting a background color as red. You can have multiple IDs in your code. So if I provide your ID and let's say ID name is select one. So this is select one and you need to define it here as well with the help of hash. So hash select one and let's say for this the background color is orange. Let's refresh the browser now. See we are getting a orange color for this h3 heading. Now let's see how we can declare these properties with the help of class. So for classes you need to provide inside the tag the class attribute. So let me provide in the paragraph. So you can provide your name as class and you need to provide the name of class. So let's say name of class is you can provide any name. Let's say choice. Choice is the name of class. So same name you need to declare in your CSS file for the IDs you need to make use of hash for the class you need to make use of a dot. So with the help of this dot and the name that you have provided in the HTML file which is choice. So you need to provide your choice and then you can provide the properties here. Let's say I want to say your text align to write. Now what will happen in the HTML file we have provided class to the paragraph tag. So this paragraph will be aligned to right. Let's see. So these backgrounds will be now not visible because we have removed them. Let me save the code. Text align to right. Refresh the page. See this particular paragraph is now moved to right side. If I provide here another class here for h1, let's say class choice1, one, choice1 one. and if I save this dot choice1 and next I'll use text align property center so this particular class with choice one will be text aligned to center. So choice one is used by the H1 tag. So H1 is moved to center now. If I refresh the page, see. So that is the use of different selectors that you use in your code. So that's it for this video. We will cover another topics of selectors in next video. Thank you for watching.